change the change the world. Now, many of you have a cell phone. I mean, I'm guessing a lot of you have a cell phone. And, yeah, cell phones are actually a really good tool. A lot of people love to use them. And they're used commonly in many places for many different things. Now, raise your hand if you have a cell phone. That's every single person in here. And I'm guessing, now raise your hand if you have a laptop. It's still most people, but not as many people. Now, raise your hand if you use the internet in your phone. Most people use it in here, and I'd say more people use the internet in their phone than have a laptop. That's getting more and more significant as time goes on, because now, instead of people using laptops for all their work and business needs, or school needs, people use the internet in their phone. They can do lots of things. They can check their email, just visit websites. They can do just about anything they can with a laptop, just on a smaller screen that fits in their pocket. Experiences. Everyone's around cell phones or uses a cell phone. They're very helpful. You can communicate with friends and family. You can use them whenever and wherever. They're very easy to carry in your pocket or wherever. And honestly, they can do a lot of things. They can do many things like you can play a game if you're bored. There are actually a lot of things you can do that you may not even notice. Cell phones have changed a lot, actually. In 1973, the very first cell phone looked like this. It was essentially a really big box that's probably bigger than any of your home phones are. And back then, these, this phone probably cost around $2,000 because it was so revolutionary. No one had ever seen a phone that could make a call from anywhere in a wireless network. This was the beginning. And while it wasn't a great start on today's standards, it was amazing back then. So few people had them though, because they were extremely expensive, and they were just big and ugly. I mean, would you really like to carry around that all day? It's kind of a lose, losing situation. As you move on, in 2007, the iPhone was the very first smartphone that could use the internet consistently, and it was also an MP3 player. This was where phones started to become your used for everything tool. iPhones did just about everything. They could play your music, they could visit the internet, you could get apps on them, and because the app, the app store, all the apps are generated by people, it's ever growing, and there are many different apps to choose from. Now this, in 2012, the Nokia Lumia 800 was the first phone to use a computer operating system. This is the first time that a, computer's op a, computer, a computer operating system has been transformed into a mobile phone. And this was revolutionary because this is exactly where the mobile phone became the mobile computer. This is now running essentially what your computer at home would run, except on a smaller screen and some slight changes to fit the screen. But for the most part, cell phones are becoming more and more like laptops instead of cell phones. Actually, the calling feature is not the most used feature on a phone anymore. 